Place a triple five timer IC on the board and connect pin two to pin six, pin four to pin eight, pin one to the negative rail and pin eight to the positive rail. And we are doing this to generate a square wave. Next, we want to place a 220 kilo ohm resistor between pin 2 and pin 7. After that, we're going to do the same thing with our diode. So, so then we want to extend pin 2 of our IC. Then, then we take both our ceramic capacitors and connect them in parallel on, on that rail, ended rail, just like you see in the video. And then the other side of the capacitor to ground. So then we're gonna connect a 5.1 kilo ohm resistor to just pin seven and somewhere else on the breadboard. Then we're gonna extend that and connect it to the middle pin of our potentiometer. Then with our potentiometer's other pins, we connect it to the power of the breadboard. One could be on positive and one could be on negative. So for our servo motor, we connect the orange pin or the signal pin to pin three of our IC because that's the output, the middle pin or VCC to the positive of the breadboard and ground or the brown one to the ground of the breadboard. So just make sure your wires are nice in place and just Add your 5 volt or 6 volt power supply and just roll your potentiometer like that and boom, your servo motor turns as you turn your potentiometer. Sometimes it spasms, but that's okay. Then we also have an LED connected so we can see what's happening inside. As I get further, sometimes the LED gets dimmer, brighter, it starts like flickering. It's a really cool and I'll talk about it er, later. So how this works is our circuit generates PWM signals or waves. They are like square waves and they come from minimum of the, um, of the voltage to maximum. They keep switching off like a square. So then it does that and then it basically generates a square wave, which the servo motor basically turns the amount of degrees on. And as your little um, wavelength or your squares as you turn your potentiometer, the circuit um, analyzes that, and as your potentiometer value increases, then the squares get bigger and bigger, which makes a certain amount of degree turn towards the servo motor. So that's how it works. So this little part right here where the two capacitors are, that changes the waveform because it turns it into a square wave or PWM because the 555 timer is generating a clock we also have a diode for protection.